Hello everyone, Fireball here and welcome back to another episode of Qualen. Now, a little recap from what happened from the last time. We started off with the tree farm and now we have the base of it. So, we last left off with the dragon statue or the centerpiece and because of the nature of the project being such a such a massive thing to do i decided to make it a two-part video so today we are going to start off from where we left that being the dragon centerpiece but you may be wondering well fine if we are going to work on the tree farm what are you doing cooped up in your house well you know what there there are just some times that you just uh want to hole up in your house and uh also hide from phantoms because you haven't been sleeping for a couple of days now oh yeah that reminds me i haven't really showed you the inside of my starter house so welcome to my starter house it ain't really much because it's a it's a it's a starter house but i do have the essentials and essentials being a dragon <laughs> no okay that's not an essential i just got that as like a souvenir from the first time we fought the dragon in the season. These two posters right here are uh, one of the examples of the pixel art that I made using the wool from the sheep farm. So there are two there are two renditions of these this poster. One is being uh, fabulous and one is fabulous because uh, one of my friends suggested why don't you call it dangerously fabulous and I was like, you know what? That's a that's actually a good idea. <laughs> so in all its narcissistic glory, <laughs> here it is. But pixel arts and starter base aside, I actually want to start working on this dragon piece as soon as possible because I've been itching to finish it. Because the end product or what the farm looks like when it's fully done looks really really beautiful and <laughs> oops, I really want you guys to see it. And I can't tell you what it looks like because then I'd lose the whole surprise thing. It's probably not a good idea for me to go there while it's night. But you know what, YOLO. <laughs> but before we start on the dragon piece, let's actually pop over to my creative world because I forgot how to build the whole dragon thing. And oh dear heavens, that that is... Those are quite a lot of enemy <laughs> spawns. Quite a lot. Now, I'm still debating if whether or not I should show you the whole tree farm design, but I should at least show you the dragon piece, right? So, here they are, and <laughs> I'm actually trying my best not to look to the right side because over there is the completed tree farm, and you can actually see the tip. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that was the tip. That was the tip of the tree farm. So, these three here are the different blocks or the different palettes that I've chosen and the reason why I made three is because I wanted to see what they actually look like in contrast with the whole ground and the sky thing and although I'm liking this the third one with another brick uh, I'm slightly leaning to the one with prismarine because I think it will blend in more with the whole tree farm thing because it's already it already has prismarine blocks in it so let's go back to the server i was about to go out and start making the whole centerpiece thing and then i heard some footsteps it's it's pretty creepy that whenever creepers walk they have the footsteps like that of a player so sometimes you confuse them for for players especially when you're on a server and then they were actually they're actually creepers i know he's here somewhere i found him he is actually over here <laughs> hello mr creeper hi just for this particular occasion i'm gonna ramp up the the volume here so that you guys can actually hear the footsteps All right, Mr. Creeper, sir, work your magic. Cause see, this is what a player's footstep sounds like. So it's actually pretty creepy. It sounds like a player, but you know it's not. 
He's he's right over at the side. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down now. And yet again, I am getting distracted. But this time, oh, this time, I am definitely gonna get to working on that project. Ow. Before I show you some more progress on the tree farm, we are gonna go on a little detour. Because remember that special project I told you about? Yeah, we're actually in need of more materials and that being concrete. And concrete isn't something... Yes, I know there are a ton of concrete here as far as the eye can see. But I don't really, really want to break the ocean floor or destroy it because... See, it looks, it looks pretty and I don't want to ruin any of this, especially if it's in my base. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lolo's base and to get there is actually not going to be easy because Lolo's base is not part of the tunnel. Because when we come up here, we, ha we have this whole tunnel system going on. We have the blue tunnel, we have the red tunnel, yellow, the green, and everyone's base and farms included, like the witch farm, the wither farm, they're, they're all connected to the tunnel. But the thing is, Lolo was actually an old player in the server, but now he's not part of the server anymore, so when this tunnel was created, it wasn't really he wasn't really able to make like a connection to the tunnel because at that time the tunnel was still in progress so there really isn't any way to get to his base through the tunnel so you have to manually go out you have to stare straight into death's eye and go to hell <laughs> literally go to hell and find Lomo's base which uh, we all know that the nether <laughs> Yeah, based on this this look alone, the nether isn't really the most safest place to be at. If we look over here, Lolo's base is actually somewhere over that area. And sometimes I call it the forgotten area, the, the cursed area, the forgotten place, the place no one goes to ever because it's dangerous. So, um, I'm actually going to meet up with Seiko, hopefully this is gonna end up with a zero to less than one death trip. Seiko doesn't know this, but what we're where we're going is pretty dangerous. Are you excited? Are you excited, Seiko? Are you excited to die? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not that dangerous. And she just gave me another berry. Wonderful. Too much berries. Too much. You think she knows that it's dangerous? That's why she's stalling? This isn't really a safe place to be at because if gas hit this portal, it's bye bye cyan and glass. It's been called a lot of things. The the forgotten area, the forbidden area, the cursed area, the forget the forgotten city. No, it's not city. The forgotten road. Let's be all mysterious and safe. Let's add in this. <laughs> That's really gonna ramp up the... <laughs> Sicko! I, I, I have an ender chest. Wait. <laughs> yeah, but it is a bit dangerous, so it's best if she leaves her stuff in advance. Because even I can't guarantee our safety. She's so serious. The nether is no place for a, for a girl in a blue kimono dress with a fluffy pink tail. There are a ton of different ways to get to the old area, but... The easiest access or the easiest way I can get out is through JDM's uh, 
room. <laughs> this this room here. There's supposed there was supposed to be a door here, but now it's gone. <laughs> Buckle up, sicko. Oh, she's a strong gal. You can do it, Seiko. Come on. I sound like this really, really shady person who invites <laughs> younger kid. <laughs> um. <laughs> how funny! How funny would that would it would it be if that was actually on purpose? <laughs> Let's wait a couple more seconds. Maybe she's gonna log back in. Oh, she's here. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing we're not. Oh. <laughs> Why she? <laughs> well, it's not that scary. I'm, I'm, I might have I might have scared her just a little bit to uh, are you okay <laughs> don't Okay, so this is where it starts. That area over there is Lolo's base. <laughs> okay, no pushing, all right. Just let's just hope no gas spawn, because then we're gonna be in really, really big trouble. And here we are! <laughs> yeah, uh, Arkaz uses this as his farm, his farming area, because now that Lolo isn't here, he's claimed it for, for purposes like this. Forgive me, <laughs> troll. <laughs> Sorry, Seko. I just really want to see your. <laughs> I just really want to see your reaction. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop messing with Seiko. Now let's go back to the tree farm, shall we? Guys, guys, guys! It's finally night time, and I put in some extra effort to craft some slow falling potions so that you guys can actually see it, and at the same time, I don't have to worry about crashing into it. So let's chuck this down. Okay, and here, here, here's also a bonus. You see that? From afar, you can see it. Oh, that's so epic. All right. Hang on. Time for the big reveal. 
that's a lot of creepers. And wait. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow. And I'm really, I am really falling slowly. You gotta hand it to Mojang. Thanks for giving us the soul potion, Mojang. This helps us a lot in trying to show builds like this. That is pretty. I especially like the dim light. But that isn't. Oh, there's a villager, a zombie villager. Hmm. I like how it comes into view. That's so pretty. Alright, so this is phase, phase one of the whole project being complete. Next, I'm gonna work on the finishing touches. It's like I'm not- wow, it's like I'm not even moving at all. Am I even? Oh, wow. Well, what? Well, um, okay, so I'll be working on- <laughs> This is so weird. Well, I'll be- oh, hey guys, um, I'm just, you know, just chilling, just hanging in midair. <laughs> Nothing new. <laughs> okay, well, enough of the shenanigans. I'm gonna continue working on, on adding in the vines and the whole- the whole water thing because right now i just realized if i take down those scaffolding and dirt there is no way for me to get up this farm so i need to add in the water sources or the fountain so that i can actually get up so <laughs> um flying fibo uh i'll see you when i'm done because i'm actually oh now i'm flying blinking fibo okay um <laughs> Alright, now let's get to building those arches. But first, I need some sea land to- mm. Pepper. Well, now I have the second most beautiful tower in Minecraft. But all jokes aside, I'm ready to build. So let's hit super fast build mode.
And that's all I have for you today. See you in the next episode. Fabo, signing out. <laughs>